Modern Money Primer Blog Number 16 Responses by L. Randall Ray Sorry, got to be brief. For an explanation, go here. I'll have to punt a bit on some of the techie details on operations within the Euroland. Maybe we can come back to them later. Question 1. Weren't the design flaws of the Euro intentional, that is, what Neil Libs wanted? Answer. Yes, probably true. I'm not an expert on European politics, but let me say that there is no evidence that they thought it would come to this, with a likely default by Greece that will escalate into a possible destruction of the whole project. By contrast, MMTers did. Question 2. Roberta, we're all artists. Answer. Hmm. I guess so. Question 3. How do governments borrow from the ECB? Answer. Well, technically, that is prohibited. The ECB was not to buy government debt. That was the beauty of the system. Governments had to sell to markets. Therefore, they would be subject to market discipline and would not run up excessive deficits. Hey, how's that working for them so far? Not so good. You all know the stories. Goldman helped them hide the debts. Markets did not understand that these are not sovereign nations until it was too late, and French and German banks loaded up on high-risk Greek debt. The rest is history, or at least will be soon. Market discipline does not work. Ever. Never. Question 4. Aren't Euro nations much like U.S. states? Answer. First prize. By Jove, he's got it. That's the problem. They are like U.S. states, with no Washington backing them. Question 5. What is the end game for the Euro? Answer. I urge you to read Dimitri Papadimitriou's piece over at Huffington Post, End Game for the Euro, September 18th, 2011. I'm planning to write something up soon. Question 6. What about lender of last resort in the EMU? Answer. By design, there was not supposed to be one. Market discipline was supposed to work. Each individual country was supposed to be responsible for its own banks. But since they were not sovereign, they could not do a Timmy Benny $29 trillion bailout. The ECB lends to individual central banks against collateral. They've had to widen what was acceptable, but it won't be enough. Question 7. What is SGP? Answer. Yes, it is Stability and Growth Pact. Question 8. Are there net financial assets in Euroland? Answer. Yes. First, there are dollars. In Euros, yes, individual national governments create them, but as discussed in the blog, they've got to worry about clearing across borders, since ultimately those are convertible on demand to ECB Euro reserves, and the ECB is not supposed to buy government debt. Question 9. Why do markets only partially recognize that downgrades of sovereign debt do not matter? Answer. They do not fully understand, so there is usually a bit of uncertainty surrounding a downgrade. Then they realize the sky did not fall, markets for sovereign debt recover, and rates go back where they were, unlike a downgrade of Greek debt. Next week, we might take a bit of a diversion because we got a long and interesting comment on the differences between 
real and financial. I think it will be worthwhile to get all that clear.